We hope you have seen our other how-to videos for the Zooper and Zendesk integration. If you haven't already seen those, please check them out on our website or on the Zooper YouTube channel, including how to create a job and schedule it on Zendesk and how to use the dispatch board on Zooper. In this video, we will show you how to optimize job routes in Zooper. Using route optimization, you can generate optimized travel routes for your technicians, thus saving time and money. Let's start by creating a job for a Zendesk support ticket. Currently, we are viewing the Zendesk dashboard of Bellevue Security, where all the tickets can be seen. Select the ticket for which you'd like to create a job. On the Ticket Details page, click on Create Job under the Apps section. The job title and description are pre-filled with the ticket details. The job priority is set to low by default. Choose a relevant job category. The scheduled date is automatically chosen based on the job category. Select a due date. Scroll down to Assignees and click on Choose Assignees. In the pop-up, you can filter the users based on teams. Click on Assign against the field executive, Vinny Vegas, and click on Confirm. Now that we have entered the necessary information, click Save Job. Since the job is successfully created in Zendesk, let's head over to Zooper. Click on Open in Zooper. Here's the Job Details page. To access the root optimization experience on Zooper, click Maps in the left navigation bar. On the Maps module in Zooper, you can track the field team's live location, view the field team's jobs, and access critical location insights. Take a look at the Users tab to view all your field technicians at a glance. Easily filter down to just the technicians currently online or recently online by checking the Show Only Recent Seen Users box. Watch as their current locations appear on the map and zoom in for a closer look. Keep track of each technician's battery life and track their location history with ease right next to their names. Click on History to access a field technician's location history. Choose the date on the View History pop-up and click on View History. On the right, you can view the jobs assigned for a chosen date. At the bottom, you can see the in and out time, battery percentage, and other details. Moving on, click on the Jobs tab. This will show the list of jobs scheduled for the day. By default, the jobs for the current day will be shown. To view the past slash future job, click on the date. You can choose a date from the date picker. You can filter the jobs listed by a team or an individual field technician. By clicking on the job dropdown, you can view the basic details like scheduled start and end time, location details, the field technician assigned, and job priority. Clicking on the job will show the job location on the map. You can also view the job details on the map by clicking the job icon on the map. Now onto the crucial aspect of Zooper's Maps module, Routes. With Zooper, you can easily create optimized routes for your field technicians to reach job locations with ease. These routes are calculated based on the start location, date, time, and mode of transportation. On the Routes tab, you can view the routes for the day by default. Looking for a specific date? No problem, just use the date picker. Need to locate a route based on name or street? The search bar's got you covered. Now let's create a new route for our technician, Vinny Vegas. Click on the Add button. In the Create New Route window, enter the route name. The departure date and time, route duration and color, and transport mode are pre-filled. You can change them if necessary. You can optimize routes for the quickest travel time or shortest distance using the Route Optimization Type drop-down menu. Enter the start location as Fall City, which is the office location. Enter the end location as Maple Valley, which is the home location of our technician, Vinny Vegas. Click on Create Route. The route has been created successfully. Now let's add jobs for this route. Click on the route. You can view the distance, time, and number of jobs in a route. Click on Add Job. In the pop-up window, all the jobs scheduled for the day will be displayed. You can filter the jobs based on category, status, and user. You can also search for a specific job. Using the date filter, you can view jobs for a specific date range. Click on the Add button against the jobs you want to add. Let's add the three jobs assigned to Vinny Vegas to this route. Click on Update. The jobs have been added to the route. Under More Actions, you can view the job, assign it to another route, and remove the job from the route. You can also view the route on the map. Now that we have added the jobs, let us see how we can optimize the route. On the top, click on Optimize Route. This will show the best route based on your preference to reach the job. You can now see on the map that the route has been optimized. Let's assign a user for this route. Click on Assign User. You can filter the users by teams. Click on the Assign option against Vinny Vegas and hit Close. Under More Actions, you can find options to edit the route, reorder jobs, clone the route, and delete the route.
In summary, we created a job on Zendesk, created a route for it on Zooper, added jobs to the route, and optimized the route on Zooper. Thanks for tuning in.